already. I think this is that. I'm late by like 10 seconds. That's fine. Anyway, welcome to the 23rd stream. No end in sight. Guess we'll just keep going. Yep, we'll just keep going. So, welcome whoever happens to be here or happens to watch this later on. Hope your day is going well. No complaints here. Just wish I was moving faster. Well, that's normal. Won't inject that negativity in these streams that much anymore. If I made something great, if I didn't make anything, well, better luck next time. We'll just work on something else. Anyway, here's an old model. I think I've put this on this before. Yeah, this is a turret. Big old turret. How many centimeters is that? Point. That's 30 centimeters. Big old gun. Where's that? That's some defensive plating. It's kind of designed to be on a parapet. Or like a turret. like a defensive fortifications around the wall. So that's what that is. If we're, if we're gonna be specific, it's meant to go on. If I can find it. This right here. It's meant to go right there. Oh yeah, what is that? Anyway, let's see. Didn't have anything planned today. So I think we'll just mess around with the tools. See what we can come up with. Cause I don't know what my target audience is anymore. But I will get the news out of the way first. Then we can start doing that kind of stuff. So, the news is... two things. Unreal Engine 5 is out! That's pretty cool. I dig it. So, we'll have to take a look at that. And what else? Number two is, I now officially doing commissions. Like, before it was kind of like random. Whatever. But now it's official, and I have a thing up for that. So if you ever want something sci-fi done, let me know. Anyway. Because I like working on small models, apparently. These big ones are getting taxing. I don't have any small ones lined up for myself. Game-wise. So yeah. And let's talk about Unreal Engine 5. So this is 1 million pods, right? I got another comment saying, well, is that optimized for games? Like, that's a lot of polys. True. Like, LODs will take care of that, but with Unreal Engine 5, I figured out you don't, doesn't even need LODs anymore. It's all automatic now. Pretty cool. Let's open that up. Like, I don't really fall for hype trains. So I'm not exactly hyped. Like, Unreal Engine 5 is great now. Won't change anything, but it will make my life a little easier. So this is what it looks like. There's this new system called Nanite, where it actually does LODs for very high poly objects. Which, my stream quality may be very low. I'm not entirely sure if this will actually stream properly. Hey, what's up, Martin Man? Not much. Just looking at Unreal Engine 5. I don't know if the stream's gonna like it, but... 
yeah, the UI is nice. It's pretty good. Like I was saying, like if they change the UI, then we'll know for sure it's actual Unreal Engine 5 and not just Unreal Engine 4. So that's cool. So I made a nice little thing here. There are... I don't know if this is streaming properly. I'll just stay in one spot. I won't move. So there are 256 beasts in this scene right now. I am getting 30 frames per second because my graphics card sucks. So yeah, 200 that's more than 250 beasts that I was thinking are going to be on the map at once. So that's pretty cool. Not like amazing, but because graphics aren't everything, but it is nice knowing that I don't have to worry about poly counts anymore. So yeah, that's 256 beasts. Very cool indeed. Well, that's not everything though, so... Yep. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Like, I'm still worried about the physics and all that kind of stuff. There'd probably only be like two or three on the field at once. But then having this much polygons to play around with, like for the robots that you fight, now that'll be pretty fun. That's legit. I like that. Unreal Engine 5 is has two thumbs up from me. I'm not hyped about it, but it's nice. Very good indeed. So there's that. Graphics aren't everything. But yeah, that's fun. Unreal Engine 5. I mean, honestly, it feels like just another upgrade from Unreal Engine 4, like 4.27 from 4.26. But then they slapped on the UE5 logo because it was kind of a, bit, a small, bigger update with a new UI. When you change the UI is whenever you start adding in different version numbers. So I'm not really hyped for it, but I like it. It helps, makes my job a lot easier because I don't have to worry about LODs anymore. Another cool thing about it is it has dynamic illumination, like... I don't have to worry about indirect lighting either. So that's cool. I dig it. I dig it a, a lot. It does open up a lot of options for the, the antagonists themselves. Because these mechs I wasn't worried about, like, LOD systems can handle that easily enough. What I was worried about is whenever things get crazy with the machines themselves. Like, stuff like... This thing. Like, whenever the machines get really, really big. That's what I was worried about. But we don't have to worry about that anymore. All bets are off. We can go kit bash as much as we want. Anyway. So yeah, we're just gonna putz around, I guess. I didn't have much planned today. Yeah, how much would it impact the performance if the beast was textured and had broken parts? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Like, actually, I'm not worried about that, but it's, there's only going to be like a few beasts on the field at once, so it'll handle it definitely. But then I have to, there's a lot of work on my end to make sure it does work. So, because the way it's going to work is it's not going to have complex collision. It's all going to be simplified, so it can support physics-based interactions. And that only happens from a long ways away. So there's going to be a specialized system that if you're standing on the beast when it's being destructed, it'll actually make the complex collision only on the object you're standing on. Stuff like that. It's going to be a very custom system. I don't know if it'll actually scale well with other vehicles. Because there will be other vehicles that are of the same size, kind of. Like, for example, 
There'll be two other super destroyers. And several other geo cannons. It would be nice if it was a scalable system. So that's a but I have to figure that out though, like. I know I can make this system for the beast, but I want to make it so I can put it to others, other machines. So that's going to take a lot of R&D, TLC, etc, etc. Research and development. I have to make some experiments for that. Because that's something I have not experimented on yet. So there's going to be like several other ones. And plus the actual machines themselves. So We'll get to that. We'll burn that bridge when we get to it. My model stuff's showing up now. Where is that monster? Monster back. Oh well. He's hard to find. I think he might be uh, somewhere else. So yeah, stuff like that. We don't have to worry about poly count, so that's good. You know, we should just make a robot today. Heck with it. Something like this, because this guy was random. We should start making stuff like this. That's what we shall do today. I like robots. Used to work with green, now I'm working with black. So yeah, it's it's gonna be a lot of TLC to get it to work. I don't expect it to be easy. I do expect it to be possible though. It's always figuring out what to do rather than how to do it. I have to know specifically what sort of capabilities the machine has to have. So we'll get to that. So yeah. hard coming up with new robot designs because I want to get like freeform with it but then there has to be some sort of underlying pattern to them I need to get more organized all right let's see like these are all random And the thing is, I'm starting to figure out that perhaps SketchUp's not the best to be working directly inside of. I should sketch more robots and then make them. Because I can make random, but then just ends up being too convoluted. I need to sketch some more, I just don't know how to sketch them. And not them being random. Because they start off like right here, and they just, they just become whatever. I don't plan these out. I need to start planning them out. I made progress on the precedes regenerated robots. Ah, that's what I'm talking about right now. I have not because I don't actually know specifically how they function. Like, if I'm going to precedes regenerate them, I have to know exactly their process of being constructed because there'll be different chassis types they have to be procedurally animated there'll be different limb subsets and different like places where the limbs go and that'll be that cha that'll be the chassis and from what I see there's a torso and then there's a head and that's all very oddly specific like, if I start with a system like this, it'll just 
end up with stupid stuff like this, kind of. And that system is not... I don't like that. Because if you're limited to just different chassis types, then you start seeing the same robot over and over again. It has to be in such a way where it has layered proceduralism. But you don't see the same robot every time, but it's in a way that you can understand what its capabilities are. And it's not entirely random. So I have just too much variables involved to actually just go straight for a... an actual system for it. I need more concept art is what I need. I have to force myself to draw some more robots. Which at this point I wish I could start hiring people, but I'm not set up in a way that I can. Because I can't ask people to make a robot for me in this, in this style. I could, I guess? I don't know. I'm just not in that position quite yet. Nor am I in a position to get myself to draw them. Because the system actually would be pretty easy to do if I knew what their robots were specifically. I know what they are generally. I know how they're made and what they do and how they're function and what the player needs to get out of them like gameplay wise but then their actual form I'm getting stuck on because their morphology is kind of complex and there's a lot of different faucets different directions I can go in, in that and if I cho choose some arbitrary direction then it may not end up being what they're supposed to be so that's why I have not made any progress in that de department I just cannot keep concepting them in SketchUp directly. It's too inefficient. Just because I can doesn't mean I should. So yeah, there's, there's some TLC you have to go through there. How would rigging and animation work? Ah, so they're going to be procedurally animated. What they're, how it's going to work is there's going to be a bone train. Like, and that bone train will be very simplistic, like it's just... Yay long, maybe? Two joints, three joints. And that's will be its skeleton. And all the meshes that go on that skeleton are what get blown off. Like, it'll instance different meshes onto that skeleton. What's this music? So yeah, it'll take static meshes, it'll put it on the skeleton, and the way the skeleton's animated, it'll have an end effector here, it'll use inverse kinematics to figure out the actual solution to the, the way the joints line up, and then the meshes go along with it. And if the player takes out a certain amount of meshes, everything in the chain gets on the way down, gets taken out. And it, and it updates its actual bone chain. Like if you blow off its feet or something, suddenly it doesn't have that feet. So then it has to use its arms to get on the ground. But then it has, doesn't have the capabilities of its hand anymore. Yeah, procedural stuff. As per limb basis, like the limbs will all be like just thrown onto the chassis itself. So if you blow off an arm, it's kind of separated from the actual body of the machine. And it sounds a lot compli more complicated than it actually is. This is simple stuff. If you look up procedural animation just at all, you'll get a pretty good idea of what the system's about. Simple stuff. This is all pre preliminary. Nothing fancy yet. It will get fancy though. Once I start figuring out exactly its capabilities. Because this is all based on gameplay. Like, is it fun to blow off the limbs of a creature? Well, yeah, if it's not like... 
an actual creature, because that's, that's kind of mean to see it struggle. That'd be kind of sad. But these ones aren't, like, animalistic. They're, like, blocky and just ugly looking. That's why they look the way they do. Because I want the player to, like, disassociate from the machine. Like, it, they want, I want them to treat it as a machine, not a creature. So they don't feel bad for blowing it up. Because that's their purpose in this game. Or they could be your allies. That's one of their purposes in this game. So yeah, just procedurally animated. Like, for example, the chassis moves forward. The leg is right here. There's an end effector right here. And there's a... I mean, that's the end effector right there. This is where it wants to be. So whenever it plants its foot in a certain spot, if the chassis moves forward, if it gets at a certain radius away, like this is the nominal foot location right here. If it gets so far away from where the foot's actually planted, it figures out, okay, I have to move my foot, so then it does an interpolation animation where it picks up his foot and puts it where it's supposed to be. Simple stuff. Which, if you do it, if you do it simplistic like that, what ends up happening is it looks like it's just dragging its feet along, rather than actually moving the body. So there's going to be some stuff we'll have to do with that. Because there's a lot of simplistic stuff out there where it's just kind of dragging itself along. We can't have that for these ones. Because these ones are very heavy looking. Like they kind of lumber around, so it has to be dynamic. Design document. Hmm. Not quite. I got most of the things that'll be in the game. I explained a lot of the mechanics behind it. I, I got caught up on the robots themselves, though. Like, I explained what they are and their capabilities, but then I kind of caught, caught up on what they actually look like and are... They're, what they do. Like, their forms and stuff. Because I was like, wait, I don't have enough info on that to actually make a specific design document to catalog for that. So yeah, I got caught up on the robots. I have everything else. Well, the robots are a huge part of it, so that's not saying much. So yeah, and... I think it'll be pretty basic for the prototype. Like, for example, there'll be a big one, little one, very big one, large one. And just splitting up that system's kind of tough because it's too vague. Like, what does big actually mean? What does small actually mean? Does it mean he's fast? Does it mean he's slow? What does it mean? Like, what does it mean? Yeah. Not specific enough. I can't make a game design document if it's not specific enough. So I have to brainstorm exactly what the robot's capabilities are. It has to be fun to the player. Which is probably not as difficult as it seems. I just need to pick a direction and go with it. I know what the robots are. I mean, that's all I need to know, really. So yeah, the game design document has come along a little bit more. It's roughly like... how many pages? Almost 10 pages long. Which is a bit much, actually. Like, I may kind of cut a few things. At least just for the prototype. 
The actual full thing itself will probably be a lot longer than that. Prototype does not need to be complex. Just needs to get the idea across. The RPG system itself is like two pages long. I mean, it is an RPG game. So yeah. This is off axis, we can't have that. So yeah, I mean, I haven't been able to work as much as I want. Two things, mainly. Number one, it's too hot in this darn camper. Which is, sounds pretty benign, like, really? Is that your whole reason? It, it's bigger than it seems. You can't work in certain conditions. It's really frustrating how such big things get caught up on such little stuff. Very frustrating. And also just people bugging me all the time, like, Hey, I want you to play Destiny with me. I want you to play this with me. I need you on my fire team, etc, etc. And I can't say no. Which I really should. Which is, that's my fault. That's my problem. Sorry, sob story. Hardly an excuse. Little piddly stuff to get in the way of the big things. Things that matter. Yeah, and it's just kind of frustrating. I don't know. But I won't let that... I don't want to be a negative nasty about it. It's my problem, no one else's problem. I won't stew on it. We will get there. Another thing is, I'm getting kind of bent on SketchUp right now, like, why am I doing SketchUp so much? It's supposed to be a piece of the puzzle, not like the whole deal. There are bigger things going on that I need to turn my attention to. But then this whole stream is like, I don't even know, it was meant for the SketchUp audience. So I have to keep it in my schedule. I don't know. That's fun to do though. I like SketchUp. So what I'm trying to, the game I'm playing is, I mean not literally, but like, what I'm trying to do is offload the SketchUp to other projects rather than the game itself. So that's why I actually officially opened commissions. Like before I was kind of like whatever, like I'd do it on the side if someone asked, randomly. 
But now I'm actually going out there and saying, I am open for commissions. Like, I will make your stuff if you want. Because I'm kind of tired of just trying to make something for the game in SketchUp. When we're at, in reality, I should just be making actual concepts for the game itself and then making it in the SketchUp, like as an official job, rather than just some random model, just for fun. There should be a job, not a, not a hobby. I Man, I like modeling in SketchUp. That's why it's a hobby to me. There's no room for that, though, anymore. Not if I want to get serious with the game. Which I intend to do very soon. Which I keep saying, but... I can actually go full-time with it. Treat it as a job. I'm tired of it being as a hobby. Because I'm at the skill cap where I can actually do it as a job. No problem. For the game and for other people at the same time. Like, it's not exclusive anymore. Before, I wouldn't do commissions because it would interrupt what I'm doing with the game. But now it's to the point where I can make stuff to a capacity that I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm not saying I'm good. I'm just saying I can do it without having to think anymore. I'm tired of being a nobody. But I'm still playing that long game. I don't intend on actually going out there and specifically making things to make people say, that's pretty good. Because that's not what I've ever been doing. I don't make things for that. I make it because it's fun to do. And I make it because it's for something bigger. Not by itself. But then I look at the guy next to me and it's just kind of hard not to say, well, that's not fair. Life isn't fair. You do what, you know what you're doing to yourself, that's what you get. If that's what you want, go do it. If you want the clout, go for the clout. Well, it's not what I want, it's what I need to do anymore. I don't care what I want anymore. I, okay, I lied. I do, it's just, I shouldn't. It's not about me. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, just frustrating. I need to figure out this small stuff. Get it out of the way so I can start thinking about the big stuff. They say don't sweat the small stuff means nothing. Let's see. Music's very important. Always have good music. Yeah. 
I think what I'm specifically getting at is I was looking at people's stuff on Instagram. That's not a good thing to do. Don't compare yourself to others. Just don't do it. It'll get there. Trying to get this audio good. What's next on the list? Let's see. I have to get little stuff sorted out, first and foremost. Second on the list, if we're talking about the game. Now that Unreal Engine 5 is out. Actually, it's not actually out. Like, it's just an early access. So I shouldn't actually be thinking about planning anything in it right now. We'll just plan ahead. Just be aware of its capabilities. So what has to happen first is the gameplay itself. Because I've been focusing way too much on the graphics. And, I mean, that's a step. But to get to that point, we have to iterate exactly what sort of gameplay it is. And I know what the gameplay is, but not in a specific sense. Like, I have to know exactly what goes on at a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And what that boiled down to is the kind of centrals around these robots. Because these are very important to the gameplay. Like, they're the driving force behind it. And that's why I get, got caught up on them. Because their form is, like, it determines everything behind it comes afterwards. The form of these robots is the game itself. That's why it's very important to not mess it up. I have to be on my, at my best capacity. And getting to my best capacity I just can't do in this environment. It's those roadblocks. Since the concept itself is holistic, I just can't break it down to a point where it's just easy to do automatically. I can do that with assets, I can do that with models, I can do that with everything else besides the gameplay itself. Which, the way to do that would be to actually just make it experimental, like throw it in a random dynamic and see how fun it is and keep tweaking until it is fun. And that'll happen for a lot of the gameplay itself, it'll be emergent, but there's a certain specific type of gameplay I'm going for that cannot be emergent, and that's what I'm caught up on, getting into the nitty gritty. It has to be, it has to work. As soon as we get through that little stuff, then we can get to that. And then everything else would fall into place as it should. about setting up the framework. You can have all the puzzle pieces, but if you don't have the place to put them, 
Where do they go? In a jumbled mess. Faster ways to do everything. Sometimes you have to put your nose to the grindstone. It's just this one problem is all. The rest can be the grindstone stuff. I haven't reached the point where I actually know. Like, at what point do I just iterate it straight up? And at what point do I actually try and plan it out from the get go? Because I know a lot, large aspects of the game itself will be like iterative. But I just don't know if it should be 100% iterative. Iterative? Funny word. Because then it'll end up being what you don't want it to be. Or you don't expect it to be. If you make it 100% emergent, it won't end up being anything like you want it to be. Could end up being better than what you want it to be, but not what you want it to be. Because I'm burning the candle from both ends. The game is emergent in gameplay, but the actual mechanics and objects inside the game itself are deterministic. Like, I already made the robots, I already have the creatures, I already have the setting, I have the whole thing. I just have to make the game follow those rules. So it can't be 100% arbitrary. That's what you get for burning the candle for both ends. Balancing what you want and what you need. Let's see, what do I need here? This goes like this. our music. Anyway, that's hard to understand me sometimes. That's a lot simpler than it sounds. Looking for that music. It's what I had in mind. Here we go. When you've had time to come up with these ideas in this vacuum, it's kind of hard to explain in layman terms. I mean, not layman terms, educated terms. Because in school they teach you how to iterate your ideas to other people. Use the language that actually people can understand. But then whenever you're kind of on your own, you start coming up with this jargon. It's hard to really figure out what it means. And I find it pretty simple, but then other people are like, well... It would be simple if you explained it properly. Looking at you, Wikipedia. every academic paper ever. Just explain it in layman terms. Never just straight answer.
You know what? Let's go freeform with this. We've been pretty formulaic with this so far. Let's make a mess. A mess should start. Stuff like this intersect faces is what I did, so it doesn't delete stuff over here. Haven't been saying much about my process lately, because I take it so for granted. Even just these unrendered stuff, I've been taking for granted. Like it's not actually finished products, but in my eyes, I haven't really seen that. So whenever I see unrendered white stuff, I just kind of like, well, that looks fine to me. I need a new pair of eyes or something. I need to get out of this place. saying with I don't know my target audience. This started off as like a SketchUp tutorial kind of thing. Like this is how I do my stuff. And it's just kind of evolved into a personal blog. Like okay I guess. I guess people just don't want to interrupt. I'm glad you're here to throw them out, Martin. Man, that's good. Get me going. Get me talking. Same thing over and over again, though. I keep saying I need to figure out, take a step back and figure things out. I'm starting to see that's just not going to happen. Not with these circumstances. Things have to change. think. Let's see. With this guy, yeah, we were saying we're going to go freeform with it. Let's do that now. Starting with...
location would be nice. Somewhere away, somewhere cold, somewhere... Like, I wouldn't even call it a vacation. It'd be like a work vacation. Where I can actually figure out all the big stuff and work on it. Because I can only focus on piddly stuff right now. I consider models piddly stuff. I don't really require thought. Like, actually get some systems going, like coding. Because that requires some thought. We'll let it play. I'm actually kind of looking forward to commissions. They're actually kind of fun. Because it's kind of a challenge, like, can you make this kind of thing? It's like, sure I can. So I can offload it, so I don't have to worry about the, for the game so much. I can focus on other stuff. Let's see. Almost an hour. I think we could finish this off. In the stream itself, maybe. So yeah, let's see what else I was going to say. Oh, we got the piano music now. 
we'll just leave it. Piano music is nice. keen about making hover stuff. It's kind of a cop-out to me, like, you kind of make this kind of thing, it's like, oh, it hovers now. It's a hovercraft, that's what it does. Whatever sci-fi stuff. A lot of people do that. That's why I try to avoid it. If I can. Make it so it just doesn't hover. Because it's just so darn easy. Like, what sci-fi without a hover tank or something? And I don't do it for that. I don't do it just for the fun of it. I mean... I do, but... Hard to explain. Try to keep it fresh. We're not going to make this a hovercraft. It needs to have something here. There's not much to choose from. You get legs, you get wheels, you get treads. And that's all you ever get. What other mobility options are there besides jet engines or something? I wish there were more. It's kind of like asking, I wish there were more fruit, I wish there were more vegetables. You have to make them up. You have to use the power of imagination. You just make whatever arbitrary nonsense happens to fit your world's physics. But then, the trick is to make it seem like it means something, because if it just uses arbitrary nonsense, people will be like, That makes no sense at all. I don't like this design. It's nothing I can make sense of. Unfortunate. People can't smell the color orange. Okay, I lied. Orange cleaner smells like orange. Hovercrafts tanks smell like tanks. With treads. So we need... Something nice. Something that doesn't smell like the color orange. If that makes any sense at all. That reminds me of... Hold on. This reminds me of something I might, I might have laying around. This guy right here. This guy uses a skid system with treads. Treads skid system. This guy just uses treads. That one just uses skids. Hmm. Not much to choose from. Kind of a 
ugly looking act actually. No big deal. Just had to fill in the gaps. So therefore, we need to make Music's kind of low here. Typical. Just typical. systems. So I know there are crawlers and there are, what else is there? They call them Crawlers, skitters, and there's sliders. terrible so far. That's good. Sarcasm. Yeah, I bet. Last time I watched the recording, I was kind of annoyed because there was like this background noise from coming from the microphone like what's that all about so i just i don't know if that's actually happening right now Whenever I start talking, it's like, wait, now there's background noise. All right, now we shall start filling in the gaps. Make this thing actually look like a vehicle. Because it's always vehicles. Not much to choose from once again. You've got vehicles, you've got structures, you've got spaceships, you've got aircraft, and you've got robots. Just no variety. 
If you start blowing it down like that, you start seeing patterns. It's like, wait, this is just a vehicle. This is just a whatever. Just so many different things are just like that. Well, originality can only go so far. You can claim it something else afterwards. That works. We'll say this is a self-propelled vehicle. It doesn't actually have a person inside. Bam! Solid it's a robot. I don't have to worry about having a driver in. This needs to Column agents, entities, vehicles that don't actually need a pilot, drones, kind of. But then these are special kind of drones, like they don't actually run on electricity or whatever. The sci fi BS element in my universe is called Spectra, it has very specific properties of it, which I will explain some other time. Gotta have some sort of BS element in your sci fi universe. The driving force behind everything. It's a good way to explain things, both in process and destination. Audio quality is that great. Need to fix that. I got a new what do you call it? I got new headphones. I wanted to use them, but then I couldn't get them to work for the stream. Because they were just I don't know what they were doing. Being too quiet or something. Let's get fancy with it. What we want to do is some curve loft.
that. Intersect faces. Make it nice. If you can call that nice. that nice. It's all serrated and stuff. Huh. Oh well. I could fix that, but we'll just leave it. I'll help we just get rid of this. Totally fixable. These have got to get bigger. Just putzing along. It has been hour 13. I was watching a stream earlier today. He was on his three hour mark and I was like, wow. But then nothing happened. Like nothing was happening. People just like to do long format streams where they just kind of sit down and do stuff. And then nothing really happens. But then I don't save it afterwards, so it doesn't really matter how long it took, because it's just for fun kind of stuff. But then I save all of mine, so then I think I'd have to, like, move fast and make it interesting for people to watch afterwards, which I don't know if people actually do. I just kind of say, oh, maybe I'm just doing it for myself. Am I, though? I don't know. What does it mean? So yeah, let's see. I want to just keep talking because I just don't know if the that static is coming through the microphone. Because if I don't stop talking, then it's like then you're just listening to static, and it's just not nice to listen to, really. That I just don't have anything interesting to say. I really need to start making videos where I just model and maybe speed it up. But then people, I've watched some videos of that too. And people are like, why don't you just slow it down so we can see what you're doing? Could do that too. Because I'd imagine it would be pretty therapeutic to just watch modeling. Like at regular pace with calm music. I dig it. I'd do that. I'd watch it. I may consider doing that. All right, all right. Nice to happen now is...
Yeah, this is good music. I really like it. Like, I only get music from games. So, truth be told, this is actually from The Sims. It's like the music you listen to when you're building a house. Really good house banking music. Underrated, I think. I'm not much of a musical connoisseur kind of guy. I don't find the high class stuff. Just stuff I can find on games. But I do consider this high class. Very good music. A good way to copy stuff over is to grab it, stuff it on here, and, and then grab it over here, copy, paste, go over here, copy, paste. So now they're not inside the component, but they're mirrored across. the way this music gets kind of crazy. It's just all over the place. Tumultuous is the word. Okay, 
Alright, so this needs a head. Needs a back. Need some hands. Easy enough. Cut and paste stuff. Actually, let's get crazy with it. Let's speed model. Now the music's winding down. What here do we have that's fast? This to be kind of a jump. A very big jump. Let's go to our old Alton Gold. speed model this. Let's finish this guy before we get out of here. That's not fast. Here's fast. Honestly, I don't see much of a difference, really. 
fast music, piano music. The speed's the same. I really can't call it speed modeling. Oh, there. Hardly a difference at all, really. Because it's only so precise you can be. Not exactly impressive. If I were working with Blender or something, it would be a lot faster. So we'll just keep it at a regular pace. Wait, I'm still not convinced on Blender. I don't trust Blender. Blender has my suspicion. Pretty sus. I still like it though. If I were to recommend software to someone starting out, I would say Blender. Just because it has a future. I love SketchUp. SketchUp's amazing. I'll never stop using it. But it really hasn't gotten anywhere. Tremble's just kind of sitting on it. This way, please. So there's a cool little thing. Let's see if I can find it. Guess not. There's an alignment tool. You can just throw this onto certain surfaces. And it'll actually auto align what you want it to do. Which I don't think I have it here. Wish we could get that real quick though. We'll be on this one. That's not it. Let's 
go down just to show this. It is called... We'll find it. It's new, I haven't really used it much. It's a very specific kind of thing. I said we lost a viewer. Understandable. It's not really relaxing whenever you don't have piano music and all that nice stuff. I thought I could finish it faster, but then I figured out no, can't really. We start running out of steam. You can't keep modeling. 100% all the time. I expect to make it better. X just slowly starts getting worse and worse. What's going on here? I know what's going on. This is what's going on. the same stuff over and over and over again. Making low poly robots. Not particularly impressive to be honest. And that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not really trying to impress people. I think I'm just trying to be more consistent. Like I can sit down and model stuff. Which I've proven that already. So right now it's just kind of redundant. There's no point in it. If you're not having fun. And it's fun for the first half an hour or so. But then you get to that point where you just want to finish something. And it just keeps going and going. And then it's just not fun anymore. And then no one really cares to watch it because it doesn't really mean anything to them. And then they're like, okay, just tell me when the product's done, then I can see it. <laughs> totally understand. Kind of loses this point after a while. I think the reason the other person that can stream for three hours, the reason he can do it is because it's consistent. Like, it's not inconsistent. This is very inconsistent. One second is piano music, one second is techno, one second is rock. It's moving about the same speed every single... No matter what's happening, though. And this is really not turning out the way I want it to, either. Just ending up being another vehicle. Everything is a vehicle. But like I said, I will not inject that negativity. We're doing good. We'll just say that. It could be a lot worse. Just have to have that confidence.
Better things will come. Bigger models? Procedural... Can't wait to get the procedural stuff going. That's exciting. That's... Not gonna lie. That's really exciting. It's just infectious. I love it. Procedural generation. Cannot wait. Which I really shouldn't wait, to be honest. I've been waiting too long. Twiddling my thumbs and saying, Oh, I can't generate that because I don't know what it is. Well, figure it out. Figure out what it is then. Stop wasting time. What even is this? Some kind of crawler thing? Has hands, I know that. Just have to build the confidence. So, the last several streams I've been noticing, no one watches them except one person. There's like one viewer. I don't know who that is. I mean, I'm not saying you should say anything, that's fine. You can remain anonymous if you want to. Just kind of interesting. I wonder who that is. What does it mean? I'll just talk about other stuff. Just keep talking. Keep the ball rolling. So let's see. I have to make some kind of How relevant these streams are anymore. Like I said, the only reason I've ever stopped streaming is if I finish the beast. But then at this rate, I'm just never going to finish it. I mean, like in a good time, like in the near future, it'll be finished definitely. Just not soon because I'm. I want to get going on other stuff. I'm kind of tired of SketchUp modeling. And I'm already filling in that gap with other stuff. So, I don't know. I may just straight up say, well, there's no point in, in it anymore. And just say that's enough streaming for now. Because I lose steam. Like, I'm good for half an hour and then that after that, it's just I can't do it anymore. I can't focus on any decent sized model because then I lose. I just can't work on it. Enough negativity though.
I hope you all are doing well. Whoever happens to be seeing this. Best of wishes. I think we'll wind down just a little bit here. I don't even know if I'm talking to anyone. Distinct possibility that I'm not. I'll start doing, I should just start doing different formats of streams. If people want to see modeling, they want to see the modeling, not the talking. And certainly not changing the music every second. Almost there, though. Let's finish this guy. We can do this.
goodies. Cool. Exhausted from all the schoolwork from the past few weeks. Oh man. What kind of schoolwork? I wonder. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't feel. If you missed some, that's cool too. Let's see. Yeah. I wish I had schoolwork sometimes, actually, to be honest. I have a hard time keeping myself busy sometimes. That's interesting. Go to sleep. It's all the schoolwork. It's almost done. all my stuff really because I really want to support you and see that you're great to have though for your game is heading which I don't have the time yeah that's all right don't feel bad about it I mean it's a long-term thing really I can't expect anyone to follow it the whole way through like I mean you've followed it quite a bit actually and that's pretty impressive yeah, don't feel bad at all. Like, I don't... I really need to stop doubting myself so much all the time. It's a long-term thing. It's gonna take some time. I get impatient sometimes. Well, yeah. That's alright. So don't feel bad about it. Not at all. I mean, I shouldn't take your presence for granted. Like, I should... I should, what do you call it? Savor every moment. Because... Moments don't last forever. It's all good in the hood. Oh, it's kind of low power. I need to find the time to do the more important things, like the presidential generation and all that stuff. So I can actually start posting like videos rather than streams, like actual progress, maybe even devlogs. Yeah, because sometime in the next year or so, I'm going to start posting actual devlogs, like regular updates on the game itself. 
once it starts getting going fast, faster than it's going right now, because it's going a little bit slow, it's a work in progress. Just the pacing of it. But yeah, it'll get there. As I keep saying, it'll get there. Well, this guy isn't quite complete, but he's complete enough. Good enough for now. Yeah, and don't feel obligated, like... Like, I don't want to force you to do anything. Like, I know that how that feels. Like, a lot of times I just don't have the time either. Like, someone's like, you need, I need to, to, to join you for the fire team or something like that. Or I want you to play a game with me right now or something like that. Sometimes I just don't feel like it. And a lot of times I just don't even have the time anyway. So yeah. Don't feel forced at all. Like, she made it under this one stream. But you can do never, never play your consciousness. Ah. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's easy to do that. I don't know why I do it. It's just, I look at everything else around me and it's like... Not exactly impressive, but... Good enough. It's just, the reason why I downplay myself a lot is because I know it'll be a lot better later on. My capabilities are more than what I can do right now. I mean, what I am doing right now. That's why I feel like they don't deserve... I don't know. It'll get there. It's easy to doubt what you have whenever you want something else. But yeah, thank you for that. I need to grow a backbone. Good on ya. Well, he's good enough. We'll call him done. In two seconds. We'll leave that alone. And there's our robot for the stream. There he is. How oh, is a person? A little bit small there. Let's make him big bigger. There he is. I think he's kind of a loader robot, maybe. Kind of grabs things. Here, let's get the music. Make that music nice. Let's get some shadows. That'll do for now. I need more styles. That's, that's a cool one. Maybe. We'll just go back to the default one. That'll do. Not great, not terrible. Just to uh, have fun with it. No need to get like so critical about myself sometimes. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of one of these. I'm gonna look it up quick. Reminds me of that guy.
Man, it's kind of that same patterns to it. Yeah, it has that same thing to it. We'll say for they're from the same universe, I guess. Always thank you for streaming. I really hope that will work out for you in the future. Yep. Thank you very much. And you're welcome. Yeah. Things should. I just need to... I really need to get it going. It's been long enough. I need to have my sweet revenge. Get things going the direction they should be going. And not just so random all the time. Anyway, yeah, thanks for being around, actually. All the time. Yeah, thank you. And I guess that's it. Well, see you later. See y'all later, and thanks for watching. We got this robot guy, not so bad. He'll do, as a concept model. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching, and see you next week. I mean, whoever happens to be here next week. And good luck on your endeavors, and I'll get my stuff together, and things will be good. So, toodaloo.